Hello everybody and welcome back. I am KRX and this is another tutorial for Traffic Manager Mod. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at a big one, the custom timed traffic lights. So let's go to an intersection where this uh, where this would look good. So if we open up our toolkit, uh, we have this button down here called the timed traffic lights. This is a uh, this is a big one. This 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 one includes a what ultimately is a rather um, daunting kind of a menu system and such. If we open this up, we could select nodes. Okay, cool. Let's do this node. Set up a time traffic light. We can't move this many for whatever reason, but once we open it up, then we can move this to make it a little bit easier to see. And we start to have to, we have to, we're looking at this stuff over here. We're kind of interacting with this here, but here's the really tricky part. Before we even do that, we kind of do want to go back to another tool that we know and love, the lane connector, and probably piece this intersection apart in a way that makes sense like maybe this is a left turn only lane like you'd see in a in an intersection like this in, in real life right so by giving these lanes their responsibilities that align sort of with you know their real uh world equivalents and such in fact actually i mean these there's no reason why these people can't just you know go to any any of these bits, these these were already set up fine, but just to make sure that they could go every every which way, right? So just kind of setting, painting. You start typically a traffic a time traffic light is going to be ineffective unless you paint it all down, because this is going to allow you to really kind of customize where the cars are able to go. Now we have this all painted. We have these dedicated left turn lanes, right? That's one of the things that the base game traffic lights can't handle, as they don't understand the concept of left turning. I mean, obviously the cars still turn left, but they don't understand that, like, even if these people are green, but if they're turning left, you can't have these people slamming into them, right? So that's what this is going to solve. And also, the cool thing about the time traffic lights that we're setting up is it's going to allow us to actually create timers that prioritize more busy avenues uh, and, and sort of shorten the less busy ones so that there's not just a green uh, green light with nobody going through the intersection everybody else piling up in another section of it right so here's so if i'm creating a time traffic light the first thing i'm looking at is how many different points of entry are going into the intersection because that's going to tell me how many steps this needs to be that's a very simple trick for knowing exactly how many steps you need so there are five and or sorry four well, four four entry points into this intersection one two three four so that means we need four steps. It's it's that simple. So I'm just going to add a step. I'm going to leave if everything by default. It'll just be red, red, red. And in its primitive, sort of its basic setting, it'll just be one second minimum, one second maximum. That's fine. We're going to change all of this stuff. We're going to change all of this stuff. I'm going to just keep adding steps until I have four because I just determined I need four. So add step, add, add step, add. Now I have the four steps. Okay. Now I have the four steps for the four different entry points and a very you know basic way we could do that is we could just be like these guys are green step one these guys are green they go step two these guys are green they go and it's like that's that would totally work that would probably actually work just as effectively except for the fact do we think that there's going to be more cars going straight and turning right here or more cars turning like is there going to be an equivalence between the people turning left and the people going straight because it might actually be useful to actually split those into two separate steps. Because of course, if these people are turning left, these people could be turning left. So it doesn't have to be this cut and dry. So let's go back to that first step and actually make that red now. Let's kind of reset everything back to, back to just default. So step one, let's say we want these people going straight and turning right, which would allow these people to go straight and turn right at the same time. Kind of cool. So to do that, we actually have to go into change mode. We have to expand this into a more detailed mode for all of these different bits. So now we can go, okay, great. These guys are going straight and turning right. That matches, right? You want this to match what your, your arrows down here. And if we spin this around and look at this side, same thing, boom, straight and turn right. Cool. So that's step one. We need to give these guys some minimum time. I usually don't like going less than three seconds because there's a little bit of get up and go that the cars uh, need to, uh, to get moving, right? Because sometimes if, if this is too low, you can kind of like chop them off before they even really started moving in the first place. So you want to set that minimum to be a good healthy amount of time to get the cars actually in motion. And then, and then the maximum time is based on how much 
traffic you suspect is going to be coming from this side. Well, I've observed this intersection for a little bit, and that's really what it comes down to, right? Observation. And I've noticed that like the traffic this way is actually a lot busier than the traffic coming from these two ways. So we're going to keep this rather low. We're going to keep this six seconds. Six seconds to give these people, let these people go straight and turn right, and these people will be simultaneously going straight and turning right. Cool. Step two, these people are going to be going, going straight and turning right. Okay, so even though this looks like it's like peeling off this direction, it's not because if we twist this around, we can see this is corresponding again to this exact lane right here. So you do have to be facing the way the cars are facing to get a sense of exactly how this matches up. That's just a little thing that you get used to when you start using the mod. But feel free to just twist the camera around and, and you know, kind of take it slow. This is a time consuming process, but the rewards from this can be like there's certain traffic issues that you can really only fix with a perfectly tuned traffic light. So this can fix some really insane traffic issues because the truth is the traffic flow is asymmetrical in cities and in real life, right? So having, being able to customize and give more uh, priority to the busier sections of an intersection will balance everything out quite a bit. So in this case, this is a busier one. So we could go, we could go three minimum again. That's probably fine as a minimum. And then we could go all the way up to maybe nine seconds as a maximum. So as long as there's cars that continue to flow from these ways, it'll stay green for them. And if there's no cars, then it'll go to yellow and red and move on to the next step. That's the difference between the minimum, right? The minimum amount of time that it'll be green and the maximum amount of time that it'll be green. And there's really, I mean, heck, you could put that maximum up to like 12 if you wanted to, but, but it's kind of tricky because as the cars are coming, I mean, if you, if you start to get just a couple cars just sporadically coming, you don't want them to keep refreshing that green light. You want them to eventually just go to red so that other people can move. So nine, I mean, sometimes I'll go all the way high as 15 on this number if it's a really busy section. It just kind of depends on the situation. Uh, step three, these are where we're going to start getting into our left turns. So let's activate again. This is a left turn from here. We have to spin around and notice that that is indeed the left turn from this angle. So that's one step. Left turns probably don't need that much time. Heck, maybe we could maybe we could go maybe we could chop them down to a two second minimum and like a four second maximum. So that's going to be what that efficiency of segregating the left turns from the straight and the right traffic. There's going to be more people going straight and right than turning left just because the nature of like going straight and right is two different options. Going left is only one option. So just by divvying these up into different set, uh, states, we can actually shorten these states and make other states longer and optimize the balance there but it just depends on the situation so we're going to do the same for this step four except for of course step four is going to be these people turning left it's going to be these people turning left we're going to save and there we go we have our steps over here we have an overview of our steps we can view the different steps and go through it's automatically doing pedestrian movement so we can see that here but these pedestrians are allowed to move in this on these sides on this step and this step these pedestrians are allowed to move here on these steps but they can't move of course on the left turn step that doesn't make sense one thing we can do if we really want to kind of like go above and beyond here is we can add a fifth step for the pedestrians and they only need about two seconds they only and they're all going to go at once right so it, it really if you just give them an opening they'll just go so two seconds minimum two seconds maximum it's gonna be fine less than that you could you could end up chopping them off in a weird way and the thing is they need to clear it's good if they clear the intersect the, the crosswalks because even if you set it to one second yeah they'll start moving but if 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 then you have cars going through while they're still moving and then it kind of just it kind of defeats the purpose it could actually cause step one to be weaker if step five is is sh too short right so you need these uh pedestrians to get through the the crosswalk in that amount of time but in this what we're going to do is we're actually going to go here and we're going to make sure all the lights are red and that's going to turn on all of the by default automatically it's going to turn on all the pedestrians now we had pedestrians crossing in step one and two we can go back here and we can select this and go to manual first click goes to manual second click lets us actually go back and forth here so we want to turn these guys off in step one and step two because we're going to save all of the pedestrian movement is going to be used in step five and now that we have this set up and we could review it and see how it looks now we can actually hit we can actually hit start and unpause the game. And now our traffic light is being applied. We can hit show counters and show counters is going to actually give countdowns. Sorry, let's move this a little bit. It'll give the countdowns for, okay, this is red for the next nine seconds. Oh, now it's red for four because it chopped off that green light because that minimum kicked in, right? That minimum kicked in. See here, we have a three second. It, oh, chopped it off because it's noticing there are no cars. So we're just gonna move on to the next step. And that's the benefit of this custom setup. And you can see that you're not going to get any jankies going on. 
There's no jinkies. The cars aren't conflicting with each other. They're not smashing into each other. See, these guys might need more time. These guys might actually need more time here. It's just simply, nope, nope, they're getting through. They're getting through. Feels good. But no, see how they're getting backed up? So we could give this more priority. We could give this more time. We're also noticing that there's kind of an issue because there's two intersections right next to each other, and that could be causing some of this issue. And we could work on kind of fixing that in the future. So basically, this is how to make a time traffic light, right? Every intersection is different. You have to observe which areas need to be prioritized. Every sort of like the amount of lanes will change how you actually piece it all out but this is these are this was a guide on how to actually set these up right and then you're just going to have to toy with it and play around with it and figure out what's going to work best in your situation and that's basically it guys thank you so much for watching we're just uh, to close out of this this is working this is operational we're just going to close out of this if we wanted to stop it we could hit stop once we hit stop we get the option to remove the time traffic light this is just going to completely delete our work and we can do that. So now there's no longer time traffic light. This is back to a default one. We can go to this little button here, switch traffic lights, and we can just toggle it off and there we go. And in this case, we didn't need one. This is probably actually hurting us more than anything because we didn't need one. And the other thing that would have been good is look how many people are turning right. We might have actually been able to set this up in a way where this left lane that nobody's using, maybe we could tune that so that it's useful. Maybe this actually, maybe two lanes turn right here. Or maybe this lane goes straight and turns left. We could, we could customize the whole traffic system, the whole traffic light to have, uh, you know, been, been uh, to worked with that, with that different lane rule setup, right? So this is really just trial and error. A different, uh, different amount of intersecting points is going to change how, change how many steps you need, and the flow of everything as well. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you have questions, please leave them down below. We're doing this kind of stuff all the time on the Twitch channel, so feel free to swing by there and ask questions or just see how it's done. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching.